Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I am going to use a few of my slides. These are vintage slides. I have got a whole box of them um, that I inherited from Hubby's family. So I'm going to put three of them to good use and make um, what could be used as a side tuck or a pocket or just general um, decoration for your journal. So I thought that to go with these we immediately think of um, photographs. So these are the Tim Holtz photographs and I've paired, um, I'm going to make three of these and I've paired up a few of these little photographs with slightly bigger ones that I thought went together. So I think I'm just going to do the three um, all at once <laughs> rather than do one, then a second one, then a third one. Um, I thought these two went together. Am I in the middle? Yeah, thereabouts. And I have a third set. And I just thought for some reason that maybe they went together. Um, I'm thinking that's an old picture of her mum and dad, I think. And then this is her as a younger lady. And then that's the three kiddies with the youngest one that's not in the picture. <laughs> so that's my thinking behind them. So to make the spot, tuck spot or whatever, we need a bit of a background. So I've got these um, pieces of scrapbook paper. Um, they came pre-cut like this, they're Tim Holtz ones. Um, so I've picked out three of them as something to put all our bits on. So I thought something like just creating um, just a kind of jaunty kind of collage, if you like. Something like that, maybe. And with this one, um, we'll put her kind of there. And again, we will just put them at the bottom there just maybe kind of the same actually and then with this one I thought we could maybe put them up there for a wee change and then this somewhere so not quite as full um, as I would like so I thought what goes as well with these and I just thought of these flowers these are also Tim Holtz um, and I have picked out these ones because I thought that this would match the daisies in her hat. So I think we'll just pop that in behind there. And then I thought the pink rose matches the pink rose in the background of that and we will maybe just put that under there like that and then much the same with this maybe the flower on the other side of that one just so that they're not all kind of exactly the same. So what else could we add? Maybe make the little slides a little more something on the blank bits. So I've picked out some stamping. What I need is some tiny little numbers or something just to stamp, maybe in these little white bits. So we'll just push them out the way for now. We'll grab our little slide. I've got my VersaFine ink pad and a little 
mounting block and I think I've already picked out these two. So there's quite a lot in this set that are tiny that would do these little spaces. But it doesn't even all need to fit on. We could just stamp off um, the side. Uh, so this is Eccentric CMS448. I also have this one, which has also got little, lots of tiny numbers and things. And this is Tidbits CMS488. So I'm sure between the two sets there will be plenty. Um, so I think what we'll do, this probably won't stick. I just need to have a little squish of glue stick. we will oh that's kind of come loose oh do they come out oh uh -huh. oh I wonder if they all do that no that one's stuck in oh yeah well, that's quite uh, good to know I don't want to take it all out in case I don't get it back in because I do want to use the mounts but that's quite interesting that they come out I might want to use them because I've got like I don't know there must be about a hundred in the box too busy blathing then that maybe went a bit dry so we'll just restamp it and we'll just oh yes that makes a difference and we will use this one. Maybe up here. And maybe something in this corner. Um, Trying to see if there's a little round one in the corner. Here's a round one there that says 50. And there's a round one here that says paid. I think I'll take this one. Oh, went a bit mad with that. There we are. Good. Right, so I think that I quite like to see the Kodak sort of a sign that it's kind of original, if you know what I mean. Right, I think I'm just going to not fiddle about with it too much and we'll get on with stamping this one. Right, I don't especially want to put the same stamps on them all. I've 
go another number here. Oh, that works out well, that one. And let's see. Here's a big long narrow number. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, I'm liking that one. And then this, which is one that's slightly different. That's a picture of a baby. Wonder who that is. Right, let's think. We can go up the sides with this one, I think. Oh, they're falling out. <laughs> the bigger ones are falling out. They're all just in a pile there. Um, here's a number. That going to be too broad? No, I don't think so. Inky fingers. Make it slightly jaunty angle. There we are. Okay, it's going to be a jigsaw puzzle to put these all away again. And maybe something, now let's see. Yes, something up there. I'm trying to see if there's another round one. Where was that other round one? And it was that little 50. Around and <clears throat> be a wee bit more gentle with the and I think it could still have something there. Hmm. I quite like this font, this old but I've already got quite a lot of numbers. That's quite good the way that's offset. Or well, there's order number. I'm going to try this. This is fairly new to me, so I've hardly used any. I've used, I've only used two, two or three before, so this is good getting to use them. Could actually just stamp them out onto little bits of little, little bits of book page. I just make little homemade tickets and things with them. Spend a wee hour stamping. Right, I think that will do that. Right, let's just gather up the stamps. Mm, use quite a lot of them there. And I think we are good to go with sticking things down. I'm going to start with this one because this is an easy one. This one's a wee bit, needs a wee bit of a fiddle, but these two I think are pretty much good to go. I've also got my little pre-made Tim Holtz labels that I thought, well, that's a good one for that. I 
that's quite good, a wee hand, a wee handwritten one. I might lose that, but we'll keep these three out. It's a little choice. And I've also got my new heat tape and I've lost the end. There's the end there. This looks like that old vintage cellotape. tape. Might put some of that on. Right, so we want to stick down in order this young lady. There, I think. And then we want the flowers, this little bud just touching our chin. on the back, there's writing on the back Olympia Mount made in England number 17 so I could actually have used the back but the front's got the nice blue and it says Kodak and stuff but I'll keep that in mind for the the other ones I've got that's actually maybe writing on the back I'm going to use because I need to bend this a little bit because it's covering two different layers so I'm just going to use this stronger glue just because it needs to bend over where the um, the pieces are overlapped I'll just hold that for a second. And then some finishing touches. I like it there. Slide it under that little rosebud if we can. And then I think a little bit of full vintage <laughs> cellar tape. Maybe. Oh, look, there's already a bit printed on the. Um, on the card, so maybe we'll just put it over there. Make it look even more authentic. Although I'm not so sure about that there because it's like two lines because my original thought was to have it over here. I'm just going to peel it off. 
change my mind put it up here because I think it works better I'm happier with that because this and then this here just look like two lines whereas that looks more It just looks more balanced, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, happy with that. Okay, let's put this one together. So, this one is going to go... Like that, maybe? So bear with while while we have a bit of a fiddle. <laughs> no. That's better. Right, so I'm going to put this down first. You can always sort of tell when things are just in the right place. <laughs> and I think she's got roses in her hat, much like this style of daisies and daisies, so... We'll make it a bit matchy-matchy. Now, is this going over the edge? Let's not do what we did before. Yes, so I don't need to glue that edge especially. Yes, I'm liking that. So we've got one that's on that side. Oh, that one's on that side as well. I was going to say we'll have one on one side, one on the other, and one in the middle, but that's not really the way it's working out, especially. Put it at a jaunty angle. Now, will this hold this? I think it should. There we are. And maybe oh, what do we think about going over the slide? Yeah, I quite like that. We'll use this because it's going to be a little bit bent.
and that's quite good because that's just kind of sitting on the top of everything and so hasn't got anything like overlapping onto it to bring it into the collage and so this little number is actually meaning that it's kind of attached to the other three bits, three pieces, three elements. So uh, happy with that. Right, now a little bit of this. This has been a find. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm liking these. Likey, likey. Right, let's do this last one and hope that we can get it to work with the pieces that have been picked out because it just seems a little more for some reason. I wonder if we could move the mount up to the middle and that would, yeah, maybe. And then we could put the flowers, which way up does that go? What do we think about in the middle? It makes it different from the other two. Yeah, I think that's it. So I thought this one was going to be a problem, but the minute I decided to move the mount, the little photo mount up a little bit, the problem was solved. Oh, uh, aha, uh -huh. guess what? 8,000 subscribers. <gasps> I'm so happy. The other day, it jumped over from 7,000, obviously 7,900 and something, whatever. And 8,000, well, I really never thought that my little channel. So thank you very much. New subbies, old subbies, old subbies. Um, now I've lost it. See, that's what happens when you chat too much. Does it go that way? And that was that way? Or did it go that way and that way? Oh, that's annoying. Was that underneath? Is that what it is? I knew this one was going to be a problem. Here's me showing off with my 8,000 subscribers and now I can't fiddle about with this. <laughs> there, there, goes, there goes some new subscribers. They'll be like, oh my goodness, no, she can't even fiddle about. I don't know. Right, that was down, that's what it was. That was that'll do. Right, so we want that in the middle there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so eight thousand, my goodness. Oh <laughs> I think it will. Oh, oh, uh huh. Oh my goodness. Right, this one has actually come apart. Let's just... See, these are old. Right, and let's get it stuck down before anything else happens. 
yeah so thank you very much i am absolutely over the moon with the way people um comment thumbs up um it's just it's just super absolutely super i think we'll put her straight because everything else is kind of squeegee Or will we? This way? That way? Straight? Let's do her straight and hold it up and see. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Don't think this is my favourite one. It just it seems a wee bit a wee bit dull. But it's not finished yet, so we won't give up on it. Put this little P.O. box number on, which is a bit random, but there we go. And then a little piece of this, which for some reason has, is that a thread? Let's not use that bit. Don't know what that is on it. <laughs> Looks like maybe biro pen or something. Right now, maybe down here. up okay I'm going to choose one for my journal so I have started using dye what I'm going to call dye's journal this is the journal that my friend uh, was visiting from Australia and she gifted me she brought it with her all the way from Australia I have started adding my own little bits to it and making it my own I've stuck in the junk journal cover kind of book thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe a, a oh, win lose. So it's a game card that she's stamped, and I've stuck. I've made it a belly band, and I've put the little letter in there. And then I've chosen this card because it had purple and a purple, and so it's stuck on the the purple um, piece of card there. And what else have I done? I added some bits. Oh yes, I've added a little bit there with a tuck spot. I've added a belly band so that I can put my little note card bit there. I have put a tag in that little pocket because I thought the green matched the, the green of that page there. So I've put one of my coffee tags in there. I made this into a pocket, this beautiful envelope with the stamps. And then the other week, I made these cards with stamps. And lo and behold, I had a pink version and it fitted perfectly in there. I have made a long pocket for the little um, book library card here. And, uh, and it just fits in there nicely. And there's the little girl reading a book. <laughs> so that goes well. And then I think I put that was already there, the two tags. I think, is that it? Is that what I've added so far? Oh no, I've stuck down the kangaroo. And I thought this coffee tag matched the colour. And so I made the kangaroo a pocket. And yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll find a spot for one of these. So let's see if we've got a nice spot for one. 
because I do when I'm gifted a journal I very very much like to use it and um, fill it up and it's just so nice to it's nice against the purple there isn't it it's just so nice to work in a journal that someone else has started and made things and oh there's a music page she looks like a music hall lady and she's quite glamorous and I'm thinking maybe I will put that there as a little tuck spot for the next thing to be made and stuck in Do we think? Yeah, no, I'm liking the daisy. And for some reason it kind of matches this brown paper on the other side. And I quite like that it's maybe going to stick out a little bit. I don't want to stick it in just now because I want to get the photograph. Here's more music. Oh, it's quite good, dear. I quite like it there. Right, so there's enough spots. There's plenty spots for one of these in this journal. So that's good. And then two can go in the box for another day. Okay, so nice, super quick, really easy. Um, yeah, and this one's grown on me. So that's us for today so thanks very much uh, for watching and if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and i'll see you next time bye for now